Okay, I'm going to make a flexible layout here in Dreamweaver without using any of their templates. Uh, I've currently got a blank page, nothing, nothing on it at all, and I'm going to use the Layout tab and the Insert Div Tag option. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a div tag, and with the dialog box I'm going to give it an ID. All of my divs should really have their own unique ID, especially in for layout purposes. So my first one I'll call it Header. It'll be, uh, I'll imagine that going across the entire top, my header section of my web page. There we go. And below that, I'm going to insert another one. This will be for my menu, which will be vertical going down the left. And I'll insert another one. This is going to be my sidebar. Which is go which is gonna go down along the right. And this last one will be my main content area. Okay, so I've got these uh four divs here and I see this first one's got some space here it looks like notice if I look at my tag selector for each of these other three it's just the div and my text is inside the div that's just sample text there whereas this first one I've got a paragraph so I'll just right click on that paragraph tag in the tag selector and I'm gonna remove the tag so at least they all look similar there alright so each of these is uniquely identified so as I click on my each of my four divs I can see in my uh, properties panel that where the ID is displayed now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work over on my CSS styles panel off to the right and I'm going to go ahead and start to format these individually. I've got my header, my menu, my sidebar, and my content. So I'm going to jump over here and start to create a new CSS rule and the first one is header. Um, that's fine. And for this one I'm not going to really do a lot to it but I will um, go ahead and give it a background so at least we can visualize some things on here. So I'll go ahead and give it a green background. That's fine. I'm going to go to my menu div and I'm going to create a new rule. This is for my menu. And I'm going to give this one a background color so I can see where that's going to go. And I'll make that red. And I'm going to do something a little bit different with this one. I'm going to go to the box category and I'm going to give it a set width of about 180 pixels for my menu and I'm going to float it to the left. There we go. Then I'm going to click on my sidebar, create a new rule. That looks good there. And I'll give it a background color. Orange. I'm going to go to the box category. I'm going to give it a set width of 140 pixels and I'm going to float this one to the right. There we go, and there's my content area. I'm going to create a new rule for that. Background color, blue, and for box, really don't need to do anything with this one. I don't want to set the width at all. But I'm going to jump over positioning though, and I'm going to do a position relative in anticipation that I might do some absolute positioning on here and I would probably want to do position relative for my menu and my header and my uh, sidebar div too. It's nice to have those positioned relative so that way later on I can position things absolutely within those various divs and I'll just click OK and uh, so far that's how it's looking and I want to make a few little adjustments here so that everything is looking good. I've got this 180 pixel wide menu on the left. I've got a 140 pixel wide sidebar on the right. I'm going to go back into my content area and I'm going to edit that rule a little bit. And I'm going to go to box and for margins I'm going to give it margin left of 180 pixels and margin right of 140 pixels equivalent to the widths of those items on the side and I'll click OK. There we go so now my menu is there on the left sidebars on the right so that it looks a little bit more realistic I'm gonna go to each of these various items and I'm gonna put in some heights normally I don't use the height property I let the stuff inside of the div 
could create the height, but just so it looks a little bit more realistic here. I'll just jump over to my header. Edit that. Box. Height. I'll make this just 60 pixels tall. I'm going to do similar actions for the other elements. There we go, so I just added uh, heights of 300 pixels to those other elements there. I simply used the Add Property in my CSS panel. Okay, so there's my layout. I'm going to go ahead and press my uh, F12 key. Uh, yes, I'll save my changes to my untitled, do untitled document. There we go. And I'll launch it in my browser. It came up with my IE browser this time. Okay, so here it is. This is my page in IE. And notice as I expand and contract that browser, the sidebars, of course, stay at their appropriate widths, widths, and my blue content area stays fixed. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this address for a moment and pop open Firefox. There we go, and this is my page in the Firefox browser. And of course it expands and contracts as necessary. Okay, so that's a flexible layout using divs, floats, and margins.